Hi, I'm Liz, and I am a second semester freshman at the University of South Florida. This past semester, I was in Composition 2, where I was assigned a project to discuss an important social injustice. For my project, I chose to write about the way that survivors of sexual violence are treated in society. Because I am a survivor of rape, this issue is extremely personal to me. I think that this topic is so relevant in our society because most people don't even realize it is a problem. Our society has become so accustomed to ignoring issues of sexual violence that when someone actually is assaulted, the victim becomes the accused. Even the police question victims to the point where they feel they deserved it. Are you sure you really said no? Well, isn't your outfit just a bit provocative? You were flirting with that guy, weren't you? You're sure it wasn't just a misunderstanding? In what way is this fair? If someone is shot, we don't ask him, what did you do to make that guy pull the trigger? Instead, we find the guy who did it and we throw his ass in jail. Why should victims of sexual violence be any different? And the truth is, we shouldn't. We should not be afraid to report an attack to the police. We should not be ashamed to tell our families and friends. We should not feel guilty for the rest of our lives for something that is not and never will be our fault. There is this stereotype in America that labels acts of sexual violence as things that should not be named. Because of this, I never reported my own rape. In fact, for the first six months, I told myself I said yes. Every morning, I told myself that I deserved it, that I had it coming. For six months, I lived with this trauma by myself, never telling anyone, suffering in silence. I was too ashamed to tell my parents, too guilty to even admit it to myself. How is this fair? Is it fair that more than 60% of victims never report an attack because they're too afraid society won't believe them? Because acts of sexual violence are seen as taboo topics, most people don't think rape and sexual assault are issues that need to be talked about. And this is where my plan of action comes into play. In hopes to change the way that society, or at least the students at USF, view and respond to the victims of sexual violence, I helped organize a campus-wide event called Take Back the Night. This event honors and provides support for survivors of sexual violence. The most important part of this event is the speak out, where survivors are allowed to share their stories. This event changed my life. By sharing my own story, I realized that I am not a victim. I am a survivor. I realized I am not alone and that I am not to blame for what was done to me. Unfortunately, I also realized that too many men and women suffer every single day because they still consider themselves to blame, because they still feel helpless and ashamed. If society continues to treat acts of sexual violence like they can simply be pushed under the rug, they will never end. And the truth is, every year, almost 18 million Americans fall victim to attempted or completed rape. Those are our families, our friends, our neighbors, our classmates, our co-workers. Those 18 million are the people we surround ourselves with every single day. Those 18 million are the voices that are silenced by our society. But my voice will not be silenced. My voice will be heard. Because I am a survivor. And I have hope that America can change. The time has come for America to break the silence on violence. Thank you.